dong, hello YouTube, and welcome back, M0 CSN, aka Mr. Am Radio Deals, and we're in the shack again, and, uh, well, what are we doing? Um, I was talking to a couple of the lads yesterday regarding these uh, new Quansheng UK V5s, or whatever they are now, the, uh, the must-have Chinese handheld that everybody's getting hold of, and do you know what? They're getting them in the droves, aren't they? They're not buying one, two, three, four boxes of them. God only knows why, because you can only use one at a time. It's, it's just like, how many do you need? I mean, they're all right for the money. They're, all, they're a cracking piece of kit, really, for a tenner. 11, 12, 13 quid or whatever they are. And they do enough. There's plenty of up there. It's, it's laughable, really, because... Supposed to be an hobby where we're into messing around and everything. We rarely do, do we? We, uh, well, I don't anyway. I rarely update radios. I rarely do firmware updates, program memories, etc. Nah, I can't be bothered with none of that. Point of pork, turn it on, have a play with it, and uh, and that's about as good as it gets. But with these Quanshengs, everybody's on it. They're cracking it and hacking it and all sorts of stuff. But a couple of lads were going on about it uh, yesterday. Saying about hacking the firmware and one thing and another, so I said, Well, I'd already sort of had a look at it and I'd done mine, but uh, we're going on about doing a video. And there's a couple of videos about here and there, so one more won't make any difference. I'm not an expert on it by any stretch, I've just had a little bit of a mess. And uh, well, I got it in and, and I'm an idiot, so there you go. Don't say much, does it? It's not hard. So we're going to have a little look at it and just show you what I did and. Uh, Basically, go through the uh, the situation. So, first off, what I'm going to do is... Am I there? Yeah, I'm back. There's the offending radio there. So, we're just going to uh, just jig on that one. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. And we don't want that. So, we're going to go back to that. But I'm going to change it because I'm going to move the camera. Because this is the thing now, so you've got to mess about with all sorts of twaddly stuff. This is where we need to be. We'll bring that on there. Bring that round there. There we go. And you can see that. So we'll see if we can just zoom it in a bit for you. Yep. Up it is. Right. That is uh, the website that you're going to need. One of them at anywhere. Um, I'll put a link in the video, uh, but it is whosmat.github.io slash UV mod. Uh, that's on Chrome. They reckon if you use it on your browser on Chrome, it's very easy to uh, to get it to do what you need it to do. So that's uh, that's one of the pages that you're going to need. And the next one is, let's have a see, we want there. And we want that there. So that's what you want there. The uh, the Quan Sheng Radio Group. So get me back on there for now. No, I can't. So we're gonna have to do it that way. Um, the Quan Sheng UV Series Radio Group. Um, that's a good group. It's got all the bits and pieces on it, but it has got there all the files that you want. Um, and this is what I've been using, the uh, Exuma. Uh, they've just updated it again by the looks of it. So, that kind of works well. Because I'm going to, uh, I'll get that. And uh, we'll have it. So, where are we? Where's it gone? There we go. We'll download the file and uh, we'll save that. In our downloads and we can uh, we can see how we go with uh with hacking and cracking that one so that'll be and it makes uh, life that bit easier so well that's what you need anyway you need to join that group and that's where all the best files seem to be so that kind of uh, is a good starting point for what uh, what is a good way of doing it so let's go and see downloads there we want so that i'm going to just drag into my documents folder just so i know where it is for easy access so 
anyway there you go we've just gone on there and we've downloaded the uh, the relevant program that we need and now we're back on to the uh, the who's map scenario which is the uh, the one that they reckon on chrome is the one to use so there's radio happy days so you will have the radio and what you will need is if you didn't get one and i'm not on camera at the minute because this just keeps messing around in it so but you need the usb programming lead with the two prongs yep that's what you want so if you've got one of them you've cracked it all's good in the world so let's just get this down here a bit it's going to be a bit hit and miss this but it is what it is for now dead professional there you see aren't we Get out of got guy as well right so there's the old uh the old quan shank so basically turn the radio off don't need it yet um in the uh in the software and you're gonna have to bear with it because it's just a bit cock ass this but it is the only way i can do it you can see there um using stock firmware just zoom in a bit maybe yeah see using stock v626 firmware there well you don't want to use that what you want to do is you want to select your own firmware and you want to browse and obviously mine was in my documents and there it is the exuma version 02.1 so i want that so i've just selected it and i've put it in that done dusted uh so that's uh that's all good that's all sorted so back to the radio and what you want to do is you want to get your programming lead which is that little fella there it's already plugged into my usb port i know it's in com port 8 i've selected it so that's uh, that's all good and then push it firmly into the mic socket but before you do that Press and hold the PTT, turn the radio on, so the light lets go, and then plug the lead in, and make sure it's in firmly. If it isn't in firmly, it won't work. So as you can see there, it's not doing a right lot of anything. Um, and then all I did was, I clicked flash directly, did I? No, sorry, I patched the firmware and it's obviously it's come back, it's checked it all and then click flash and as you can see on the other side of the screen there it's asking me to select a COM port which is COM port 8 so if I click connect and then you'll see it oh, it's starting to write it to the radio and the lights flashing you can see it at the top there it's whipping away and it's going on and the light is flashing as well that's saying that it's 76 78 80 85 percent so it's going on it and it's just done successfully flash firmware now let's have a little look we'll bring it back down there radios come on pull the lead out and Obviously I've still got my memories that I programmed in, that's all good, no uh, issues there. I'll get the microphone there, I've got to do a little bit of twiddly fiddly here. So, I've turned it off a minute, let's have a see what it says, I'll switch it back on. And as you can see, well we could if we've got it in focus. Oh dear, it's a right faff that isn't it? Steven Spielberg must be crapping himself. Come on, in focus. There we go. Let's get it off. You can see it says the uh, version of software there, but it's slightly out of bloody focus. See if it come back in. Oh, hang on. I know why it won't do it. Donkey. Let's get rid of that. Move it back. Oh, it's rocket science, this, isn't it? Right, there you go. If I turn it on, there you go. Exuma 2.1 
is on it so we're good to go there everything's as it should be and the new functions are done and it's all as it should getting the menu steps and everything as they were alterations dual receive the battery fix has been done am fix is on we go up to uh, all that nonsense there so it's changed a few things from what it was rods of leaps and stuff i'm just looking for the uh the ssb alterations for the mod Bar on. battery servings had a few little alterations on there so i'm gonna have to learn how to use this myself again now because i want to uh Oh, hang on, that's where we are. Right, let's get out of there. Exit, go away. Get out. I'm going to VFO. That's why we couldn't do it, I think. Let's have a see what, uh, what menus it's give us. There you go. So there's the... Uh, TX wider and narrower, etc. There's 11. There's the D mod. So if you wanted to go back off USB, etc., um, you select that, or change it to AM or FM. Press the menu button again and exit. And it's, uh, it's now out of SSB and it's on narrowband FM. Whenever you want to go back in SSB. Like the D mod. Where are we? There we go. Select that. Select USB. Select the menu. Select text it. And we're back into USB mode. With a bit of luck. Yeah. Nobody on there. But there's normally a couple of local stations running on that. But it, uh, it's back function as it should do. So. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, we didn't break it. It was a bit of a faff, that, wasn't it? That's, you know what that is? It's because I've been messing about trying to set two monitors up and everything and the camera thing's not doing. But you get the general idea. Um, it really isn't that difficult. Like I said, if you go to that website and do it from... Let's get that camera up there so you can have a proper look, see? We get there, you know, in the end. This year's Oscar won't be going to me, will it? Dickhead. Oh, no. Right, anyway. On Chrome, UV mod. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, in the, the video write-up so you can uh, you can get on there. And uh, where are we? The other one is the Facebook group, which is the Quan Sheng UV Series Radio Users and Modifications Group Worldwide. Like I say, I have plenty of media, plenty of tips and tricks, etc. Plenty of files to download. All the files that you want are all there. You don't even have to look for them. You don't have to find them. They're all there, very fine and checked. You put them on and they work. I've had no issues at all doing it. And like I say, I'm an idiot. I don't do firmware. Um, I don't do upgrades. I don't do any of that nonsense. If I need to upgrade it, I change it and buy a new radio. So to save you the trouble then this is how you do it but it literally is that simple download that file that's all you need to do there go to that web page on chrome uh select the version of firmware that you want which is the ergozuma 20.1 now and then just patch the firmware it'll check it and then flash it directly to your radio and again, make sure that when you do it, you turn the radio on first, PTT button held in, turn the radio on, so the lead light comes on. Lead light comes on, you're on a winner. Push the uh, programming lead in firmly into the mic speaker socket, and then flash directly. And just sit and wait for a minute or two, well, it's not even a minute, it's a couple of seconds, and bosh, it's in, it's done. So, there you go. Hopefully, 
that's going to make life easy for you. It did for me. It wasn't overcomplicated. I didn't have to chase around the bushes. I didn't have to sort of look and read a load of questions. Because at the end of the day, we don't read nothing, do we? We don't read manuals and we don't do as we're told. So, complicated just makes life difficult. That's not complicated. Even I did it. So, what can I say? Follow those brief instructions and you'll be all right. Bit of sea sickness watching the cameras. But you know what? It's it's a new boom. And I've got to get it all adjusted and everything. And I've just put another two monitors in. So, as you can see, the shack's a wreck. I've not bothered doing crap. I've just had a little mess and a fiddle. And that's it. And there's somebody keying up on, uh, on 350 there. So, anyway. But there you go. That's just a little snippet. Have a little look at it. I'm going to watch it back in a minute. If it's crap, I'm going to record it again. But if it's not, I'm going to throw it up. It doesn't need to be Oscar winning. Steven Spielberg stuff. We're not interested in that. We just want to know how to do it, don't we? So there you go. So that shows you how to do it, boys and girls. Enjoy it. Crack on. Get one bought, get one programmed, and get one played with. They're all right. It beats being bored on a Saturday night. If you order it tonight, you'll have it next week. By week, and they're very good at the delivery. AliExpress, that's where you want to go for it. Never mind paying these 45, 50 quid ones over here. Conning gets. They've got some nerve out there. Do you know, I was looking on Facebook the other day. There was a guy selling one for 35 quid. And some jerk who runs a Facebook group, I'll remain nameless. I won't name him because he gets upset. I don't like him as it is. But anyway, he gave him a load of lip because he was trying to like get 35 quid on it. And lo and behold, this week, the same clown who's got his little Facebook group, he's been selling them for 40 quid. So... Everybody's out to bend everybody over. You've just got to be careful, haven't you? Huh? He looks like Dr. Crip in this clown as well. You might know him. If you've, if you've seen him, you'll know him on about anyway. Get on AliExpress and get it yourself. Get it for like, I think they're about between 10 and 14 quid now. Cheapest chips. Right, I'll leave you with it. I'm going looking at this. If it's any good, I'll upload it. If I upload it, you'll see it. And all will be good. And don't moan about the camera angle on the, the web pages because I know it is. But you know what I mean? That's the way it goes. And I ain't going to change it. So you can see what you need to see. Catch you later, boys and girls. Have a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, blood pressure's down a little bit. I'm not dead yet. Apparently, I've got to stop eating cake, the wife says. Just bury me now. Catch you in a bit. Have fun.